Hey my Oak family, welcome back. Today we'll be doing another video. If you didn't, if you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm Bella. Today we'll be doing How Great Is Our God by Louis Gaglow with Tama Fortner, illustrated by Nicola Anderson. Today we're doing devotional number seven, Say a Little Prayer. Matthew 6, 9 says, pray like this, Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. You might have seen this holy looking bug sitting on a tree branch with its front legs folded up like it's praying, but it isn't praying, it's actually waiting for prey. The praying mantis is an ambush predator. It sits very still waiting for a bug or a bird or even a lizard or a frog that happens by and it strikes lightning fast with moves that would even make a ninja jealous. It can even spin midair landing right on its target. The mantis seizes its victim with its front legs, which are spiked, and it often chooses to eat its brains first. Yuck. Aren't you glad that the praying mantis isn't big enough to think that we look tasty? The praying mantis is an ambush predator. That means it's very still, blending in with leaves and twigs. So it has very strong eyesight and it has weak hearing so very strong eyesight and weak hearing and it blends in with the leaves and twigs and it also blends in with the environment that it's in so like if it was in a desert it would it would turn brown if it was like in a tropical rainforest or anything it would be green so when it when a bug bird or even a lizard or frog happens by it strikes lightning fast with moves that would even make a ninja jealous. Wow. It can even spin in midair, landing right on its target. On its target? On its target, wham! If it was big enough and we were, if it was big enough, like as big as our house and it landed on and we, and we were its prey, I, I would not like that. That, that would be very painful. <laughs> I guarantee you that it would be very painful. And the mantis si sizes, seizes its victim with powerful front legs, which, which, are, which are spiked, which are spiked and pins it down, often choosing to eat the brains first. Ew! The mantis looks like it's praying because God made it that way. But God didn't make you to just look like you're praying. God made you to actually pray. In Matthew 6, Jesus shows you how. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. Prayer isn't hard or complicated. It, no, no ninja moves are required. It's focusing on who God is and what he does. It's telling him what we need and listening for him to answer, which he will always do. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the gift of prayer and for always listening to me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell so that you don't miss anything new. Bye. The children and grandchildren of Deuteronomy 6 fear the Lord their God for as long as they live. They obey his command so that they may enjoy a long, a long life. The Lord alone is their God, and they must love the Lord their God with all their heart, soul, and strength. The command of the Lord must be repeated to their children again and again.